I made a weaving trapeze for my wife. She wanted one that could be taken apart and stored flat underneath the bed. Here's the list of lumber you will need to purchase to accomplish this. Begin by making the base by marking the center of both 2x4s. Then center a 1x4 over this line and mark on each side. Finish the marks off straight using a speed square. Set the saw stage at the depth of a 1x. At this depth, make several cuts through the 2x4. The cuts should only be made between the span of these marks. Once cut, take a hammer and chip out the pieces. This will create a wide notch that the 1x4 will fit in. Dress the chipped area smooth by using a router. Then test by fitting the 1x4 snug into place. Repeat this process on the second 2x4. Next, take the 6 foot 1x4 and lay the other one on edge down the center. Strike a mark on both sides. This middle line will later be where the horizontal pieces will fit into slots, kind of like rungs on a ladder. These rungs are the 2 foot 1x3s. With the use of a router or a router table, round the edges off these pieces. Return to the 6 foot 1x4s, or as I like to call them, the verticals, and trace the edge of the horizontal piece on the very end of the verticals. This will end up being the top of the trapeze verticals. Continue tracing down the vertical. These will be the slots that will be cut out that will receive the horizontal pieces. The amount of slots and the space between them will be an individual call. I'm only making three rungs that are spaced out four feet from the end. Using a Forstner bit, on a drill press, I begin by cutting the round ends of the slots. I can now use a jigsaw to finish the cuts. Next, take the horizontal pieces and test for fit. Strike a mark down the center from the end slots. Saw a split six to eight inches down this mark using a circular saw. This will create a clamping effect on the top rung when I use hardware to secure it in later. I can now take the vertical and fit back into the 2x4 base. Making sure it is perfectly square, I can drill the holes for the hardware. The holes should be drilled symmetrically on each piece. That way, all parts can be interchanged. I'm going to use quarter-inch carriage bolts, so I'll use a quarter-inch drill bit. I will also drill a hole in the top vertical in this location. Find a carriage bolt that is long enough to go through the holes on the top vertical notch. Use shorter carriage bolts to put together the 2x4 base with the 1x4 upright. Secure together using fender washers and wing nuts. Tighten by hand and repeat on the other pieces. These can now be stood up in position on the floor to receive the horizontal pieces in each slot. Next, add support to the base by using the 2 foot 1 by 4s. Position these on the top of the 2 by 4s, snug to each side of the verticals. Secure each piece using deck screws. Now that the base is stable, the top must be made stable as well. This is done by securing the top rung in place. Drill through the pre-existing holes through the ends of each side of the top rung. Secure each side by using carriage bolts, fender washers, and wing nuts. Finish with desired paint or stain and the trapeze is then ready to use.